Hello, it's Jane from Avoda Business Advisory here again, just to run you through another Zero demo. Uh, today, I just want to talk about how to add a bill into Zero. Uh, so, if you've got your dashboard here, um, you just want to click on Business and then Bills to Pay. Now, this is just your purchases overview screen. Um, you can click on the different tabs here uh, to sort them out um, by draft, awaiting approval, awaiting payment, um, paid and repeating. Uh, so if you use the drop down arrow here, you can either add a new bill or a new repeating bill. So I'm just gonna show you how to add a new bill today. All right, now, assuming I've got a paper invoice beside me here, um, we're just going to copy the data from that invoice into zero. So the invoice is from White's Furniture. Um, I've already put an invoice in from them, so it automatically pops up here. It is dated today's date and it is due uh, a week from now. So all of this you should be able to find on the invoice. <clears throat> the reference, I often put the invoice number, or you can leave that blank. Now the total, we spent uh, $200 with this company. Amounts are tax inclusive. Um, I'll run through that when I add in extra items down here. Uh, so firstly, this column here, um, I often leave it blank, uh, but in a different area within Zero, you can actually add in items. So this is perfect for if you purchase things that like you get all the time, um, you can simply click on one of these and it will import all the data all automatically. Uh, so just for this example, I'm going to delete that and we're going to enter in the data manually. Uh, so we've got furniture cleaner that we've purchased from White's Furniture and I've purchased two at $100 each. Now I just need to select the account which I'm going to pop under cleaning. Now you just need to pick the account you think is most suitable um, to whatever you, item you have purchased. Uh, often zero comes set up with general expenses. Um, coming from an accounting firm, we encourage our clients to avoid using this account um, purely because it's very, it's very general. Uh, so when it comes to doing your end of year financials, uh, you know, you can't really get a good idea of where your money is being spent if you just put everything into general. So um, for our zero files that we set up, we often remove this one because um, we want our clients to be more specific where they put things and show us where they're spending their money. Uh, yeah, so for this example, we'll leave it as cleaning. Uh, I can see in the invoice that it does have GST on expenses, so we will leave that there. Um, and it's $200 and the total is 200, which matches the total above. If that's out, uh, you'll get an error um, saying that you need to fix the pricing. Uh, as another option, um, you can change this to be tax inclusive, exclusive, inclusive or no tax. Uh, I'll show you if I put tax exclusive, it obviously adds on GST to that unit price making the total amount 220. So we want it as tax inclusive. So it matches the original total that we put in. Uh, another thing to note within this bill is that you've got this little uh, paper icon here. If we click on that, you can add the invoice um, so you can store it within the bill. Uh, so instead of having paper files, uh, you can just yeah, input it into the bill. Um, so you can either click add from library if you've already sent the file to zero or you can upload it from your computer.
And yeah, once that's uploaded, it'll be stored within Zero, and you'll get a little box off to the side here. Um, it's sometimes good to copy, um, have that invoice in there first, so you can copy all the information over from what is in that side screen there. So now we're just going to approve that. Now, if we go back to bills to pay, we should be able to see that that new invoice has been added there for $200. So the next thing I wanna show you is um, creating a bill from an email. Now, this is the one, all, all our invoices are received by email these days. So there's absolutely no need to print out an invoice and then input it into zero. You should be able to do everything via your computer. So if we go create bill from email, you get this email address here. So what you want to do is copy that, go back into your email uh, where you received the invoice from. You want to forward that email to that email address. Um, and the best thing to do is to delete everything out of the email because uh, then you'll get some unwanted attachments possibly. Uh, and just leave that, uh, usually a PDF invoice attachment, just leave that attachment within the invoice and forward it on to zero. So once you've forwarded that on by using that unique email address here, it will go into the draft section. So once it's in there, all you need to do is review it. You'll see a little icon up here to say that the invoice has been attached and a preview will come up to the left side um, and you can double check everything, make sure uh, see if Xero has pulled that information across correctly. Um, occasionally it will miss things like GST or um, the description. Sometimes you have to input those things manually, but um, most of the time it actually pulls all that data for you. The only thing you have to enter in is the account, uh, which obviously we don't know what, the, you know, zero is not going to know exactly what that is. And then all you have to do is click approve. Obviously, that's aired out because we need to enter in the accounts. But yeah, once that's approved, it'll obviously go into a waiting payment. And that's all you need to do. So um, yeah, those are the two ways of inputting a bill into zero, you can create the bill from email, or you can just hit new bill and enter in the data automatically and upload the invoice to the bill in zero. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'll be doing regular zero training videos. Uh, yeah, feel free to comment uh, if you've got any suggestions on what other videos you might like uh, me to create. But yeah, please leave a comment in the section below and I'll see you again in the next training video.